first time out of the boat in about two months. Wanted to get it going. Uh, motor has a little bit over 10 hours, so just broken in, but it made some oil, so I had to take some oil out. And uh, I wanted to really get it hot and get that uh, motor where it's not making oil anymore. So I did do another run here, flooring it wide open throttle, hit 75.2. Before that, earlier this year, it was 74.1. Uh, I figured it was going to be 75 just because of the cooler weather weather and things like that, but it was some chop, so you know it could be even better. And this again, with all my gear, the only thing I took out were my, my two seats, so pretty impressive. Um, and again, very stable. Um, had a little bit of China walk at first, about 6,200 RPMs. Um, but other than that, really stable. I'm up in the north side of the I-90 bridge here. You can see Mercer Island right over here, where all the rich people live. It's looked like it's much calmer over here, so might uh, might get a, actually a better even run now. So who knows? But I'm just gonna run this thing until it gets super hot for a couple of hours. Maybe do a little bit of fishing. Who knows? Uh, so we'll see. Maybe I can hit uh, you know 76. Who knows? Okay, we'll see. Yeah, just a little bit too much chop there, but this looks so much smoother over here. It's uh, above 520 now, so it didn't take me long to get from I-9 to 520 bridge here in Lake Washington when you're going, you know, 70 miles an hour. It's 74.4 there, um, but you can see here that's a lot smoother on this side. Yeah, a lot more, a lot more chop over there. Uh, happens with the wind things like that so again we'll see if I can get to uh, 76 I'm really hoping to get that but I'm gonna run all the way up north um, actually never really all these years fishing Lake Washington and been on Lake Washington never actually been all the way up north so I'm just gonna run all the way up there burn a bunch of gas and waste a lot of money it's kind of I would do it damn hobby freaking expensive <laughs> didn't quite go as planned as soon as I went past here it got choppy and uh, but it's just amazing how stable this boat is even at 73 74 miles an hour you can probably see it on the other GoPro that I have that uh, you know it wasn't quite smooth and got some chop probably well but two feet of chop and really kind of plowed right through it uh, no way I could have done that on a ZX190 that I had before. Uh, makes a world of difference just, you know, foot and a half. And uh, yeah, I mean, this, I'm really impressed. This is a very, very nice boat, very stable ride. Uh, can't complain, I mean, I'm pretty confident if I didn't have my gear and took everything out and, you know, pristine condition, definitely do 76, 77 maybe. And I've heard of that before with other people. Again, I'm running stock prop, stock height, haven't adjusted anything, gas is about a quarter, uh, you know, and it's cold, it's chilly, uh, tough, but, but stable, and uh, that's what you want, you know, uh, get you out of trouble.